My name is Dr. Cleve Ziegler and I'm Director of Gynecology at the Jewish General Hospital. There are many new methods of birth control available, uh, many within the past decade. One of these is the NuvaRing, which is a very effective method of birth control, but one which remains new to many of our patients. I hope that you find this informative and that it in fact answers many of the questions uh, that you had about the NuvaRing specifically. Hi, Dr. Ziegler. I, um, I'm on the birth control pill, and uh, I'm realizing that with my busy schedule, I'm, I'm missing doses. Once in a while, I'll look back and I see those one or two pills that I've forgotten to take. Um, so I was wondering if there were any other options for contraception. Um, I've seen, I've heard about the NuvaRing, but I don't really know how it works. Uh, do you think you can tell me a bit more about it? Of all methods of birth control, pills, patches, rings, implants, IUD, the Nuva Ring is the method that's associated with the highest control of the menstrual cycle. If you're looking for a very predictable menstrual cycle or very little menstrual bleeding, this is the way to go. It works like the pill. This is a hormonal method of birth control. And it works in the same way the birth control pill does. Mm -hmm. It's a hormone releasing ring that you actually put in your vagina. It's not a pill, it's a vaginal ring uh, that you put in basically once a month. Overall, Dr. Ziegler, why is the new ring better than any other method of contraception? Well, actually, it's for one of the reasons you mentioned when we first met today, that you forget your birth control pill. Right. So with the birth control pill, you need to remember to take a pill every single day for it to be effective. And if you miss one or two pills, you do have a risk of getting pregnant mm -hmm. or experiencing the abnormal bleeding that you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. The ring only requires you to remember to put this in once a month. So the issue is what we call compliance. You don't have to remember. And if you don't have to remember, the method of birth control is generally more effective. So can you tell me again how I use this? Sure. So the, if you're going to reuse the ring for the first time, here's what I suggest. Okay. Use your first ring with the onset of your next menstrual period. So I don't want you just to put it in today. Mm -hmm. Wait until your next period comes. And as soon as your period comes, put the ring in your vagina. Leave it there for three calendar weeks. After three weeks, you're going to remove it. And for that week, you're going to keep the ring out, and you will have your next menstrual period. After that week is over, you'll place a new ring in the vagina. Once again, three weeks in, out for a week, go to the pharmacy and get a new ring. Three weeks in, and one week out. So what are the side effects? So because it's a hormonal method of birth control, and some women are very sensitive to hormones, you may experience the same side effects a woman does with the birth control pill. So that would be... Swollen, swollen or sore breasts, mm -hmm. some irregular bleeding the first month or two, nausea in some rare cases. Mm -hmm. I will mention because the dose of hormone in your blood with the NuvaRing is much mm -hmm. lower than the pill, these side effects tend to be minimized. So it's very rare that a woman will stop using the ring because of these side effects. Okay. Some women will experience a bit of an increase in vaginal discharge, but it's a mm -hmm. clear vaginal discharge, doesn't have an odor, it's not offensive, and it's rarely bothersome. Um, and are there any is there any reason why I shouldn't, this isn't right for me, or why I shouldn't use it? The same reasons that you wouldn't use a birth control pill apply to the ring. Okay. So if you have any of the medical reasons for which birth control pills are dangerous, the ring would also be dangerous. They would include personal history of having a blood clot, abnormal vaginal bleeding that your doctor hasn't figured out, mm -hmm. um, any problems to do with your eyes, a history of a stroke, liver problems. You are an otherwise healthy young woman, you have no medical issues, so if you're okay to use the pill, you'd be okay to use the pill. If you look carefully at the package insert, they're very well done diagrams that describe the different ways of putting in, but it essentially it's the same technique you would use to put in a tampon. So I'll let you refer to those diagrams, it's very self-explanatory. Uh, and uh, there are various ways to put it in. It's painless, there's no discomfort putting it in, or removing it for that matter. We thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, consult your gynecologist.